Cooper. Garfield. Welcome back, Mangler 3 I'm here. We're going to continue with uh, Honkai uh, Star Rail. We're on a new planet. It's a kind of an icy planet. Oh, uh, it sounded like the game's already started. Yep, there it is. Alright. Look, I think they get like some kind of a daily message, or at least I've noticed this. Mangler 3 M, I just got a new sticker pack. <laughs> Her taking a picture. This looks just like me. It's you! It doesn't look like you at all! I'll say it's you. It's similar to her picture. But I think this one looks more like you. Hmm? I you have the angry, crying, confused. Uh, I'll just do the face first one. Ha 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 ha! That means I'm cute! Cool. And we get some rewards. Alright. Um, we are looking for Boulder Town. Wanna go take some pictures? Oh, you must be Oleg's guests. Welcome to the Gerda Grand Hotel. Gerda? Yep. You've probably seen that stylish Gerda Hotel above ground, right? Uh, not the most pleasant memories of that place. That's the above ground branch of the Grand Hotel. A few hundred years ago, one ancestor of the Gerda family was ambitious and sought to build something big from nothing. He eventually realized his dream and opened a hotel branch in the most expensive area on the surface. Oh, people with big dreams have big determination. Oleg wants me to take good care of y'all. Here's the key. You'll be staying in our most spacious guest room. What do you think? Should we go ahead and call it a day? Or walk around a bit more first? I'm tired. Let's go back to the room to rest. We'll explore at some point. Time to rest again. I hope there aren't any surprises this time. That Oleg, he seems sincere. What do you guys think? I think he's a good person. Appearances can be deceiving. No comment. I'll say appearances can be deceiving. Mm. Oh, happy now? He's even starting to sound like you. It has nothing to do with me. But if you ask for my opinion, it's better to be safe than sorry. Ah, oh, fine. We'll keep our guards up. Our last hotel experience was eventful, to say the least. One of us should keep watch tonight. Uh, keep watch? Are we space cowboys now? I guess this is the cosmic wild west. Mandalorian. <laughs> oh, anyone else sleepy? March looks the most awake. How about you set us a good example, Don Hung? Leave it to me. You seem pretty exhausted. Don't overexert yourself. I'll do it. I'll keep watch. Branya, did you finish talking to Oleg? Hope he didn't make things difficult for you. Not really. Though it wasn't the friendliest conversation. We didn't see eye to eye on everything. I've come to know a great deal in a short time. Doubt I'll be able to fall asleep tonight. I doubt I'll be able to sleep either. Not that I don't trust you. It's just, you're a Silver Mane Guard officer in the underground. There might be people looking to harm you. I wouldn't be surprised if there are. The Silver Mane Guards have a lot to make amends for down here. If someone had made a stand in the outset, and explain the consequences to Madame Kokolia. Oh, forget it. 
It's meaningless to talk about it now. You don't need to worry about me. Oleg guaranteed that I wouldn't be harmed. He seemed like a man of his word. Go and rest. We shall see. Have some rest. Cheap room. Greasy food magazine. This is a really wonky spinning thing. Papers, pens, and a pot of black ink are laid out on a plain wooden table. You lean down slightly, trying to make out the messy handwriting on the paper. Technology in the underworld might be outdated, but printing is a technique as a technique remains as prevalent as ever. Perhaps this establishment opted to handwrite its notes to give customers a warm feeling of being valued. But this kind of thought only manages to make reading more difficult for you. As you scan over these those polite and pointless words, your eyes start to hurt. Finally, you find the most important part at the bottom of the page. Gertie. The owner warmly invites you to rate our services. Ah, a grading session. Your favorite. You vaguely remember having this experience before with you sitting in the back seat of a hover taxi, flying from one place in the city to another. The pilot of the hover taxi doesn't chat with you for the whole ride, not offering even the most cursory of greetings. But as you open the door to climb out, he suddenly says, Please give me a five-star review. No, you won't. You are the embodiment of impartiality. You would never take pity on a test with a score of 49 and change it to 50 for a pass. You strongly believe that good reviews are earned, not handed out. You look around to the cheap room. You hear the walls wailing and see the cupboard trembling. Now you're the most impartial critic in the whole of the galaxy. Dear guest, please rate how comfortable the bed is in your hotel room. Very satisfying. Bed, very good. If you had to choose between this bed and the small beds in the express's passenger car, you wouldn't hesitate for a second. Dear guest, please rate the tea provided in your hotel room. Very satisfying. Very good. Best tea ever. If possible, you'd love to bring Don Hung here to sample this tea. Solely because you are convinced that he is someone who knows a lot about tea. Dear guest, please rate the lighting and view in your hotel room. Very satisfying. Lighting and view, very good. The lighting in the room is exactly how you like it. Not too bright, not too dark, very comfortable. As for the view, as a well-known connoisseur of retro architecture, you find the Boulder Town Street view to be very appealing. Thank you for evaluating the service here at the Girth Hotel. You may leave a comment in the space below. We will take your feedback seriously and try our best to improve our service. A comment coming up with original content is always a headache. It's better to make it a multiple choice question. I'm very happy with the excellent service, thank you. Uh, it was an average service, probably won't come back. May I suggest you buy some memory foam pillows and velvet quilts? Right now, I'll say the first one. You successfully passed the comic component of the test. There's only a blank space left on this piece of paper. If possible, please leave your name so we can notify you when we have discounts. Discounts, what a beautiful word. Write your esteemed name here then. Megalo 3M. Your masterpiece is done. You've just completed the simple, most unbiased science review in the history of the universe without a hint of any subjective emotion. You flip back the feedback card that you've just completed and discover a thick stack of identical cards. You are faced with several options. Finished, now go over the whole review again your comment for the shop. I'm very happy with the excellent service. Thank you. Your signature, Mango 3M. You're ready for the bed. Very satisfied. Tea. Very satisfied. Lighting. you very satisfied. I regret everything. Let's fill out another card. You rip the card to shreds. No, it's not unbiased. No. Far from it. You must fill out another card. Unsatisfied. Unsatisfied. Too cold, too bland, stinks of rust, musty, mold, utterly terrible. Unsatisfied. Lighting in view, unsatisfied. Light, what light? I'm afraid guests getting out of the bed would scarcely be able to see their own toe. 
As for the view, you can default the lowest rating possible to the doesn't exist at all. Thank you for evaluating me. Leave a comment. Take the feedback seriously. Try to go with him. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, just buy some memory foam. <laughs> Love it. Angular 3M. Finished. Now go over the whole review again. Alright, now it's all bad things. I'm done. Perhaps you should give it straight to him to demonstrate your status as a value. Wow. That isn't very soft. Feels more homey than the coldly decorated overworld hotel. So tired. Hope to then get hope I can get a good night's sleep. I lost her. My wish. Your so-called plan. What is the point of it all? Silence! She is my daughter. My only... You soulless thing. How could you begin to fathom? You will never understand. Never! Voice again. Such a strange dream. May as well go for a walk if I can't sleep. Who goes there? Show yourself. Oh, it's you. Don't sneak up behind me next time. Lucky for you, I wasn't armed. <laughs> no sleep for you either, huh? I've been having nightmares recently. I'm worried about our future. I can't sleep unless I've worked for eight hours. Mm. I understand. The more that weighs on your mind, the more your fears become dreamscapes. Actually, seeing as there's no one around, it, can I ask you some things? This Stellaron you speak of, if you were to find it, how sure are you that you could stop the Eternal Freeze? 100%. I don't know. You better ask Don Hung. 100%. Your confidence actually makes me even more worried. This isn't like helping a child make a snowball. You know, it was difficult for me to believe you. Some of the words you use are too alien for those that have lived their entire life in Bellabog. As far as I was concerned, Madame Kakolia's order to arrest you sounded reasonable. But why didn't she issue it straight away? She must have realized something about you. Something I haven't yet been able to perceive for myself. It bothers me. What must have transpired to cause well. her such a drastic change? Beauty and the Beast. Ah, uh, still. Orders are orders. It's not for soldiers to question their superiors. You had no choice. Only a fool would follow orders blindly. You had no choice. I don't need you to absolve me. The truth is, I didn't have every confidence that I was doing the right thing. But the sense of duty to carry out an order is bound to prevail with me. In the past, overworld soldiers on the front line would lose their lives in droves. And yet, the Fragmentum's advance would remain unaffected. Nevertheless, that was her reason for deploying all the Silvermane guards to the front line. The transport line for supplies in Geomero remained open. But the passage between the surface and the underground ceased. I approved of that decision. 
I never thought that the underworld would sink into such ruin without the Silverman guards. Perhaps Mother was wrong. But how can I change her mind? I've tried, but she won't listen. I don't know how to get through to her. We'll help you. You should become the Supreme Guardian. You mean... What was I thinking? No, I shouldn't. That was a diabolical thought. <sighs> the more I think about it, the more disoriented I get. Which in turn makes me think about it even more. I just want a better life for the people of Bellabog. The world is more complicated than you think. Let's work together, maybe we can make a change. You can't save the world alone. Maybe you're right. Or not. Right now, I... I just need more time to think. Walk with me. Let's forget our problems for a while. I can't remember the last time I went for a walk like this. I never thought I'd take one through such a strange place, with someone I'd only just gotten to know. It's so quiet here. I'm not used to it. Ah, uh, the quieter things are around you, the louder th I'm surprised the vagrants in the Great Mine go after the mining teams. They must be desperate. Still, whatever their situation, a crime is a crime. How is the law supposed to find a balance between justice and compassion in the face of such complexity? How much longer can you last with your current supplies? Is that Zila? Let's go take a look. I know. I'll go to Rivet Town and bring them back for you. It's too dangerous to go alone. Get Oleg to send someone with you. The rest of Wildfire has barely gotten any sleep the last few days. They should rest. They'd only be holding their eyelids open and slowing me down. Besides, didn't you say some of the miners were gravely injured? Lives are on the line. Is there trouble? Sounds like we arrived just in time. Aren't you supposed to be sleeping? What are you doing out here? Up to no good, perhaps? We're just having a walk neither of us could sleep. You can rescind your baseless accusations. <laughs> walk somewhere else, then. Easy, Zila. Maybe they can help. Always willing to help Miss Natasha. We are, we're not helping anyone with a temper like that. No problem, we'll help with anything. Hey, come on now. Zila's got a sharp tongue but a soft heart. She didn't mean anything. Here's the situation. The clinic is packed full of people injured in the mines incident. Since you helped us resolve things, Zila and I have been busy caring for them. As you know, the underground is lacking resources to begin with. Add on the sudden nature of the incident, and it's no surprise that the clinic is almost out of medical supplies. We need to acquire more. Somehow. Are there other towns in the underground? Get Sampo to acquire some. You don't know him at all yet, do you? You can't rely on people like Sampo when it's important. As the Fragmentum spreads underground, more monsters go roaming around, causing trouble for all the towns. That means more vagrants in the mines. The town's resources have been swallowed up by the Fragmentum. To get anything now, people have to risk their lives. Easy now, Zila. Anger isn't good for one's health. Zila and I actually aren't from here. We both come from an industrial town to the north. A few years ago, the Fragmentum began to seep into the town center. I used to manage an orphanage and clinic there, but after the Fragmentum corroded the area, I had no choice but to move here to Boulder Town. 
After all, I have to survive myself if I want to save more people. Go to a corroded town to collect some useful resources? I'm in. <laughs> we'll help too. Alright, what's the plan? How come you catch on this quick? I'll say we'll help. You want to come as well? But you look quite tired. Hold up. I never said you could join us. People's lives are at stake. Why wouldn't you want another person to help? Besides, I have some experience with the Fragmentums. I'm sure I will be of use. <sighs> well, just don't slow me down. Zila's lack of outright rejection means she approves of you. <laughs> with you all accompanying her, my mind will be more at ease. Come, let me give you a list of materials we need. The place you're going to is called Rivet Town. Follow the path through the mountains to the north for a bit and you'll arrive there. <sighs> let me think. Uh, I'm almost out of metal plates and bandages used for immobilizing broken bones. There's a market in the center of Rivet Town. Residents left behind piles of materials there when they evacuated. Please look for some there. Oh, also rubbing alcohol. I kept a bunch at the orphanage, since the kids often got into tussles. <laughs> I didn't bring it with me when I left. Oh, I hope it's still intact. Lastly, painkillers. There should be a bunch stored in the old lab. Hopefully they haven't been destroyed by monsters. These should be enough to get by for a bit longer. Be careful, don't push yourselves too hard. Metal plates and bandages, rubbing alcohol, and painkillers. Got it. Piece of cake. Let's go. If we leave now, we can still make it back before sundown. When it comes to helping injured people groaning in pain, the sooner the better. If we hadn't happened to be passing by, were you really planning on going into the Fragmentum alone? Of course. What's all the fuss about? I've done that loads of times. So reckless. According to the rules of the Silvermane Guards, any expedition into the Fragmentum must have a squad of at least four members, as well as a communications officer. Exactly. A rule of the Silvermane Guards. Don't apply your rules to us. is a language module, right? Where do we get that? A language module? Yeah, it's all that's missing. It's hard to get a hold of one. Uh, what a headache. Hmm, when did you get here? Did you hear what I just said? I don't think so. Why are you acting like it's a big deal? So you did hear it. Ah, uh, whatever. I guess it's okay if you know. It isn't really a huge secret anyway. You seem new here. What can I do for you? I'm wondering... Are you a mechanic? What do you know? Are you a mechanic? Of course, no one but a mechanic can make robots, could they? Well, actually, many people among the vagrants also possess that skill. But I'm different from them. I make robots from the modified robot fight. The robots they make fight each other. I don't get the fun of it, in it. What do you need the language module for? It's... Why are you being so nosy? Okay, I'll tell you. I'm trying to build a robot that can interact with humans emotionally. Not the kind of machine that only follows a program or answers questions you ask. A robot that understands human language and speaks and acts like a normal human being. Why do you want to make something like that? Are you making an android? I thought you were making a humanoid Mac that could be driven. I'll say the first one. Why do you build something like that? Because it's my dream, of course. I want to create a robot with emotions. It's my ultimate goal as an amateur mechanic. Um, no. I got a recipe out of that. I got a recipe. I can make something from that. Leave me alone. Alright, we're going to Rivet Town. Boulder Town, Rivet Town. What comes next after we're that? Here. That's the question. This is Rivet Town. Everything looks familiar. 
Let's go. And watch your step. I haven't been here in a long time. There are probably some monsters around. We can't see anything here. Let's... It's like Pittsburgh. Hey, there, there's Paimon right there. Remember when she was mad in that one movie? Way over there. Easter egg. See that house on the hill? That's Natasha's old orphanage. After Oleg found me, he sent me there. I spent over half my childhood in that place. It looks quite impressive. That must be a time of plenty. I'd like to retire here. I'll say that must be a time. Natasha said that the house was donated by some rich businessman. Whatever his business may have been, he must have been a good person. I miss those carefree days as a kid. Huh. What? Nothing to say? No, it's just... This place seems familiar somehow. Uh, never mind. Weirdo. Look down there. See the mess that remains of those old stalls? That's Rivet Town's market. The supplies Natasha wants are probably there. Let's keep moving. Watch out for monsters. Careful! Enemies ahead. These aren't like vagrants. They won't... Where's that? To betray my customers, I charge extra. Nice. I wonder you if I can have done it without me. level up these guys yet. I can put relics on them. I've got stuffs to wear. Why oh, didn't you check and see if I can level them up? Level up. Let's start with you, Mr. Five Star. Alright, ascend. Oh, I still need that equilibrium one, whatever that means. They're gonna keep that away from me for a while, I bet. Make it a little bit more oh, shiny. Ooh, sparkly. Uh Restaurant? <laughs> the most famous restaurant in town. Natasha would bring the kids who behaved well here for a special meal. So, did she ever bring you? <sighs> Do I seem like I was a goody two shoes? Of course not. I'm fine. Watch this awesome move! Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. here seem to be in pretty good shape. Not like those of a place that has been abandoned for years. Now that you mention it, it does seem a little... Could people still be living here? Impossible.
To betray my customers, I charge extra. Nice. It's getting stronger. There's a bunch of crates piled over there. light cone one time. Take a photo. Alright, I can do that. Anybody got some good ones? You still don't have any good ones? Take a photo, how do you do that? I bet, yeah, they haven't given me a camera. Yellow is connected to red, so what's the problem? Um, I assume it has to go that way, so this has to be there. This has to be there, this has to be there, this has to be... Well, maybe it's this way. If we skip this one. No, I can't. That one's coming. I like my unit and I think it works, so. I deserve a nice pat on the back for that one. Um, okay. So, how come sometimes it's acceptable to go a different route and sometimes it's not? Question of the day. Oh, hello, Mr. 29 level. Actually, we can take him. I'll get it. I'll use healing afterwards. To betray my customers, I charge extra. Yeah, these guys have good defense. Uh oh. Three of them are locked on. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Oh, you killed three of them. This is not a good sign. I'm made to be broken. Maybe I can come back for this guy. 
I don't think even a healer would have helped me. So this is defeat. And I died. Yeah. Light cone levels are low. Wah, wah, wah. Anyway, but it didn't have to like wait 90 seconds. Some games you have to wait 90 seconds to win one. <clears throat> Darn, how could they all be empty? Now even the monsters are gathering supplies? The monsters of the Fragmentum don't need any materials we humans use. And if they did take anything, this place would look much messier. You mean that someone else got here and took everything before us? It's just a guess, but there are also some footprints on the ground here. Hmm. The scent of dirt is still fresh. They can't have come too long before us. Let's go then. We need to find something, even if we have to search every corner of this market. Look for missing supplies. It's telling me to, where to go, otherwise I'd pull out that finding Richard guy. Hmm. The mailbox with something growing on it. For the kid. Hello, kid. Eric. Hey, brat! How did you come here by yourself? Don't you know how dangerous this place is? Zila! Uh, you aren't the boss of me. I can go wherever I want. It's none of your beeswax. You took the materials and hid them all here. Not bad, kid. But if we didn't take care of those monsters, what were you planning to do? Just stay here, shaking in your boots? Who asked you to do anything? I was just about to escape. I didn't need your help at all. Still stubborn, huh? Then tell me, how exactly were you gonna get those big metal plates out of here past those monsters? Um... There's always a way. That's enough, he's just a kid. Can you share the materials? They're to help injured people. Be so polite to him. Everyone in the underworld knows this brat is a no good thief. If I remember correctly, even the clothes you're wearing came off another kid's back. Uh, about that. Tell us, what do you even want metal plates and gauze bandages for? We need them to save people. 200. What? Two hundred shield? Are you kidding me? You want to negotiate? I I don't have any money with me. What a ripoff. How much is two hundred shield work? Worth. What a ripoff. It's just two hundred. But I never bring my coin purse with me on a mission. You're actually planning to give this little crook money? I'm telling you, this is his same old trick. No! Not this time. I really need money. My daddy... Pretending to use your dad again as an excuse. If he knew about this, you'd be in big trouble. No! <laughs> Zila, that's enough. It's Eric, right? Here, you can have this. What's this? This is a medal given to me by the architects. See that blue stone in the middle? That's a geomero crystal of the highest purity. You need money for your family, right? Take this and show it to a knowledgeable buyer. 
and they'll instantly know how valuable it is. Hey, thank you. I... But you'll have to promise me one thing. You'll never steal other people's things again. Promise? I... I promise. I'll never steal things again. Then it's a deal. If you go back on your promise, I'm going to bring my Silvermane guards with me and catch you myself. Here, take the medal and go back to the town. We already took care of any threat on the way. You'll be safe. Thank you. Whoever you are, you guys can take all of these things. Uh, you, you guys need to be careful too. There seems to be something real scary in that house up on the hill. Oh, right! Uh, the road across from the market is blocked. If you want to go further, you'll have to go to the shopping street. Got it. Thanks for the tip. That object was pretty important to you, right? Are you sure you're okay just giving it to Eric like that? If it will make him change his ways, it's more than worth it. <laughs> what if he doesn't? From a young age, my mother taught me to be forgiving and to preserve the goodwill in people's hearts. Even if I am but a small glimmer of light in this world, I must try my best to shine brightly for others. I must give him a chance, Zila, because other people can't. <sighs> I don't really get what you just said. Anyway, <clears throat> we should get moving. Ryan is Eric nice. said that we need to take the shopping street to go any further. I think I still remember where it is. This way. Oh, hello. Don't want to mess with that guy. This is the street, all right. The orphanage should be at the end. These shops and signs, why do I feel like I've seen them before? When? Check the circuit. Alright, here we go. Another circuit. Hope I do better than the last ones. Uh, we can go around. That's fine. That connects everything. <clears throat> That's everything. I disagree that this does not pass. Connect all the terminals, they're all connected. Nothing's not connected. Also, all connected. All the instructions confirm the exploration path. Okay, let me take a look at this control panel. Enemy up ahead. I can take that. I need a healer. Natasha's in here, right? Oh, there's Natasha. Natalie, or whatever I call her. They'll call her Nat from now on. I don't know if you remember if it's Natasha or Natalie. I'm sure she likes that. Let me see if, what her level is. Challenge completed, okay.
No, I do not have a net. Natasha. He said it after a certain level I will get her, but I'm not at that level. I think it was 21. Oh, hello. Run. You're after me. Level 21, 29 death. So I can you do couldn't some. have done it without me. How do you get these? Star Rail Strips, Universal Pass. I can buy them. Echoes of the Coffin. Oh, that guy's a healer. Are any of these healers? No. Oh, I said dailies. If I finish my dailies, wrong button. There we go. <coughs> <coughs> Synthesize. Inferior protective gear causes them to lose 15 but increases their defense. Okay. There was one that like restored. Oh, first aid device. I already have 10 of these. I wish I could use them during the battle. That would be nice. We got enemies to the left, enemies to the right. Go left. Oh, never mind. The entrance to the orphanage is up this way. I wonder what the old place is like now. Maybe some things will still look familiar. These stairs, they seem to have become more narrow. Uh oh. I've been spotted. Take him down, can't run past him. Rules are made to be broken. Oh, it's doing both at the same time. To betray my customers, I charge extra. back and use that heal thing we just stepped at. Ah, I like it. In fact, we got some more points. Let's use this guy. It's got to restore. Keep at it. Heals everybody. Almost there. I didn't expect this place to be so well preserved. You know, if we could have worked together to push back the Fragmentum, maybe we wouldn't have had to take off and leave our homes behind. There's the time on Easter. We made it! Hmm, it's been so long, but this place hasn't changed one bit. 
These crates have been sitting here for many years, right? Even if they have materials in them, are you sure they are still usable? Do you think undergrounders care about expiration dates? Even having any supplies is a miracle in itself. No. No. Empty. How are they all empty? Who could have... Careful! Enemy behind you! Big one. Super big one. I've only seen this kind of monster before in the restricted zone. <laughs> I don't care how big you are. You dare sneak up on us from behind. This is it for you, pal! Oh, great. A walk in the park. Rules are made to be broken. We're just having fun. You know nothing of the weight behind it. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Let's go. My turn. More business, eh? <laughs> Let's begin. Leave it to me. Stand down. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. This is our chance. <laughs> All right. We beat him. <laughs> it was three against one. I wouldn't say it went so easy on your own. Though. Oh, please. You don't think I could do it? But still, fighting alongside you two was pretty fun. <sighs> Should be all clear now. Let's poke around. The kids at the orphanage were always getting into scraps when we played out here. If I remember it right, there ought to be some supplies for our cuts and bruises stored in that corner there. I just hope the monster didn't get to them. It wasn't what would my he have imagination. Done? Eaten them? Huh? What are you talking about? This building? This playground equipment? I've seen it all before. <laughs> what? Come on. The overground and underground have been sealed off from each other for over ten years. It would have been news if a Silvermane guard had come down here, let alone an overworld princess. Wait, unless... before that... Yes, it's a possibility. That would explain why my memory of it is so blurry. Come on, I need to look around a bit more before I can be sure. Search for supplies in the orphanage. Musicians on Bellabog. A slide. What's up here? Some kind of toy? Yep. You pick. Red or blue. Hmm. Blue. <laughs> Look at this. After over ten years, my teeth marks are still here. Teeth marks? <laughs> All right, well, this one time, a big kid was trying to steal this toy from me. I could not wrestle him for it, so I just bit down hard and hung on for dear life. What? Hmm. How boorish. <clears throat> Ugh, the swing is covered in dust. Hey, don't sit on it. It's filthy. 
<sighs> it sure brings back memories. I still remember one time I swung super high and everyone was scared I would fly off. Who knew swinging could be so intense? At the time, I wanted to swing myself into the sky and fly up to the overworld. So dangerous. You're lucky to have lived till now. <laughs> Aren't we all, though? We've looked everywhere but here. I hope my memory is right. It's... Ah! Yes! We found it! Great! It's barely damaged. Nat wouldn't have expected her old supplies from years ago to have stayed in such good condition. You should still check the expiration date for things like rubbing alcohol. If it's expired, it won't be effective. Hmm, true. Let me check a few bottles. Huh? What's this? This is... It's a cup. With a bird on it. This is... something from when I was a child. When you were a child? Are you sure? Came to this town as a child? Just a coincidence. Lots of kids probably have this toy. Could it be when you were a child? Yes. I remember now. You're from the underworld. I, I used to live here. Before the architects took me away, be, before Madame Cocolia adopted me, I used to live here. I'm an undergrounder. You're an undergrounder? Wait a minute. You're saying that Cocolia, the Supreme Guardian, adopted you? Then... Yes. Didn't they say that earlier? I'm the successor chosen by the architects. In the future, I will become the guardian who leads Bellabog. <sighs> Why? Why didn't I remember this until now? My childhood memories are so... blurry. You were too little to remember clearly. Kukalia must have done something to make you forget. Definitely. No. Mother would never do that to me. There's no way she would. The architect said that the guardian successor is selected from among all people in Bellabog. The selection process can take anywhere from a few years to a few decades. During that time, all children of the appropriate age in both the overworld and the underworld will be tested. In the end, only one child deemed as worthy will be chosen. I... I must have been chosen from among the children here and then taken to the surface. We were all chosen. Why we're on Earth? The kids at the orphanage are always coming and going. I never thought that there would have been a future supreme guardian among us. Does Nat know about this? Could she have been keeping it a secret? I don't think she knows. The selection of the successor is done with utmost secrecy. And the child chosen must completely say goodbye to their past. And thus, I became the daughter of Madame Cocolia. My only identity is that of guardian successor. But I'm not good enough. Every day I see Silvermane guards sacrifice their lives in the Fragmentum, but I've never had the resolve to try to change Mother's mind. The underworld has been struggling, but I never tried to help. I didn't even know that it was my own home that had fallen into such a dire state. In the end, I haven't been able to guard anything. How could they have thought that I was worthy to be the successor? Hey, are you done? Huh? Well, well, well. So annoying. I... Uh, what? <laughs> what? You thought 
I should feel sorry for you after your little speech? You've been hiding in your palace while you fuss over your overworld problems. And on the front line, it's not even you who's putting their life in danger. But in the underworld, what do we worry about? If we'll have food for our next meal, or survive to the next week? Even if I am but a small glimmer of light in this world, I must try my best to shine brightly for others. Didn't you say that? Well, if you really want to protect everyone, what are you standing here crying for? Get to it! You're right. You're right. Self-pity doesn't help solve anything. Thank you. Sila. Usually when I feel sorry for myself, I am met with gentle consolation. Never has anyone dared to be tough and make me snap out of it. <laughs> I'm no good at consoling, but I can hit you on the head a few times, no problem. I can tell that you have a big burden to carry. Why do you force yourself to? As the successor to the Guardian of Bellabog, I must always be vigilant of my behavior and thoughts. Yeah, yeah, Lady Branya. <laughs> Miss Future Supreme Guardian comes from the same orphanage as me. Who thought it would be a good idea to put us together, huh? How about I show you around the orphanage a bit more? Unlike you, my memories from when I was little are crystal clear. Okay. I'll indulge in old memories with you for a while. I should let those two be alone for a bit. The only thing left to find is painkillers. I'll see if there's any nearby. Or I'll follow that diamond. I should let those two be oh. alone for a bit. The only thing left... Yeah, yeah. You should go back this way. Let's explore that way. More musicians. It's like each area has a different type of book that you collect. Uh, um, oh, yes, it's here. We found it. Destructive it's impulse. I'm good at blowing stuff up. Clara. Clara, that's the little girl. She's not far. I hear her. Yep. <clears throat> warning. Warning. Danger detected. I mean no harm, I'm just passing by. I'm a goner. <laughs> Protect, Clara. Initiating active defense mode. Perkins, don't! Stop! I've seen this person before. He... he's not bad, right? Command received. Danger removed. Deactivating active defense mode. It's this clearer. This place is dangerous. You should leave. Same colors as clean. It's maybe a tiny bit older. I'm looking for medicine to help the injured. Shouldn't you be the one leaving, Missy? Perkins is protecting me. I'll be alright. I'm going to leave after I gather up these painkillers. You found them. Uh, is that what you're here for too? That would make sense. I'm sure a lot of miners are injured, right? Huh. If everyone could just get along, things would be easier. Hello, Mer H7706. How are you doing? Here you are. I hope the medicine is of help to you. What is your relationship with Sfarog? Is Sfarog here too? No. Mr. Sfarog, he... How are you? I'm family. doing great. How are you? I met Mr. Sfarog when Enjoying I was Enjoying my vacation uh, he took me in off, and took off for this week and probably next week too. I'm really sorry about what happened back in the Great Mine. Mr. Sfarog doesn't trust any humans besides me. 
Especially everyone from Wildfire. Why did Svarag attack us? Why did Svarag want to get involved in the incident in the mines? I'm fine. That's great. I'm glad to hear that. He heard that the miners and vagrants had begun to engage in a large-scale conflict. He wanted to stop everyone from getting hurt fighting over the mines. Wildfire wants everyone to leave the underground. How are your streaming going? It's going fine. Um, I've got one of my other computer turned off, so the internet's working a little better. Um, just started playing this game uh, a couple weeks ago. Brand new game just came out. Um, Star Rail, it's similar to Genshin Impact. I don't know if you've ever heard of either this game or Genshin Impact. Just an RPG. Pretty cool video, a little, you know, fun gameplay. This one's actually a little easier than Genshin so far, but um, either way, it's fun, it's easy. What games do I play? Uh, currently playing Honkai Star Rail, also play Genshin Impact, um, also another Eden, Civilization VI, sometimes I do Roblox. Um, in the past, I've done lots of other games too. You can look in the About profile and it's got like a list of all of them in Twitch. But the underground is safer. There must be some error in this judgment. He, but he, so he stands guard at the huge pillar, stopping people from leaving. No, there can't be. Sound great. Mr. Sparag is healthy. His system is always being maintained. He says that his responsibility is preservation. To do that, he must make decisions that best protect humanity. Do you stream often? I usually stream one to three times a week. Usually I try to do Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. If I'm busy, I'll just skip that particular day. Um, this week, obviously I said I'm on vacation, so it has different timings. Um, I may stream this afternoon, either this game or Genshin. Um, but typically it's usually Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then this Friday I'm traveling, I won't be able to stream this coming weekend. Um, the following weekend I might stream on Saturday or Sunday or both. So, And then from then on probably back to my Friday, Saturday, Sunday schedule. Fortnite. I have played Fortnite. I'm really bad at it. It's fun to uh, watch. It's not as fun to play because I'm so bad at it. I've always been bad at first-person shooters. Um, I don't know if it's because my computer's slow or I'm just not as fast at reflexes or everyone else is cheating. I don't know. Could be any of those. Hey, hey, welcome. You're my follower number 50. What's my favorite Pokemon? Ah, my favorite Pokemon. That is a good question. Oh, I'm asking you. What's your favorite Pokemon? Eh, it's one of those automatic if you're following type things. <laughs> I once saw um, Christian Pulisic, the soccer player, play Fortnite and he actually won. He was like in some tournament and that was actually pretty exciting and fun to watch. Um, and, but I mean, the experts are even faster and better at the whole fast reflex things flying at the screen and stuff like that. The Fragmentum will swallow up all of the underground sooner or later. It sounds a lot like the Supreme Guardian. Let's see the second one. I know that Wildfire wants to talk Pikachu, to Mr. Pikachu, alright, the starter. But no matter how many times you talk to He's him, a popular Mr. One. Spark won't change his mind. So please trust me. I'll try to persuade Mr. Svarog. I used to have a background thing that plays um, Pokemon in the background sometimes, so I don't have it on right now, but sometimes I have that running. Artwork for streamers. Do you want to see some of my art? Um, not right now. I'm not really in the market yet, but uh, if I do, I'll definitely keep your keep you in mind. Like you're you're now on my followers list, so I'll be easy to find you. Um, if I'm looking for people in the future. Why and thanks are you for offering. The vagrants look for medicine. If they're so great, how could they make a little girl go around running errands for them? N no, it's not like that. 
I wasn't made to do anything. It's just that the living conditions for the vagrants aren't great. There's not even a clinic in their camp. So I wanted to help them out. Also, not all of them are bad people. Everyone just wants to survive. <laughs> Miss Sila, did this medicine belong to Miss Natasha? Then, can you give me some? The Vagrant's injuries are quite serious. I see. Let's split these painkillers then. R really? We don't need to ask Miss Natasha first? If I know Nat, she won't mind. Although, this will make it more difficult for us. She'll understand. She always does. Great! Thank you, Miss Yula. Try to make you get some shoes. Are you leaving? This old town is too dangerous. We'll accompany you part of the way. It, it's fine. I have Perkins for company. And... I have some more things I need to look for here first. Understood. Be careful, though. Place looks familiar unless we're reusing the same exact thing. It might be I went in a circle. Metal plates and bandages, rubbing alcohol, painkillers. Great! That's everything. Let's go report to Natasha in Boulder Town. It won't take long to get back. Alright, level 19, we're almost there at 20. Or 21 is when we're getting Natasha. Take long to get back because I will teleport. <laughs> Wanna go take some pictures? How do we do that? Nat, we're back. <laughs> That's our Zila. Nothing if not punctual. <laughs> so, did you find any usable supplies? Yep. Oh, let me see. Metal plates, gauze bandages, painkillers, rubbing alcohol. Oh, perfect. That's everything I needed. Huh. It's just... there are less painkillers than I'd expected. Did someone break into the storage room? Clee mm, did. I sh we shared some with Clee. I mean, Clara. Clara? Huh. If she was there too, then I understand. She wants to look after the injured vagrants, right? Clara's always been a kind-hearted girl. I think you made the right decision. Still, it means I'm going to have to draw up a detailed dosage plan. Hey, don't worry. I'll help you. Um, no need. I'll handle the clinic. <laughs> I assume you three have more important things to be getting on with, right? Oleg will be waiting, not to mention your two companions. I'd nearly forgotten about those two. I forgot to say anything to them before I left. I'm sure they won't mind. They seemed in good spirits. <laughs> I bet old Oleg wants to talk about Svarog. We should get going. Sorry, Nat. We'll have to leave the wounded to you. Oh, no worries. I hope things go smoothly. Hey, we got Natasha!
That was who I was looking for. He's our, she's our healer. What light cone can she use? We gave our best one to her already. Oh, healing. I should take this one. Can't ascend. Okay, so it's stuck there. Let's uh, do the relics. Let's get her equipped. And level her up. Alright, you're up to 30 already, Natasha. That was fast. Star Rail Pass. You guys should level everybody up just to get their Star Rail Passes. I don't think I have enough points for all that. Alright, let's huh? see. Tired already? Who should we take off the team? Aren't you? We didn't get any rest deal. last night. Should we change You're out? You're gonna have to step it up, you know? My record is six days, no shut March or... Sampo or Welt? Let's trade off... not Welt. Let's trade off Mark. Okay, now we have a healer running around. I'll bet we could beat those level 30 people now. Sorry for the unannounced disappearance. Don't worry, I'm completely unscathed. <laughs> That's <clears throat> nothing. The unannounced disappearance record holder is right here. <sighs> and that something to be proud of? <laughs> uh, it's good to have everyone back together. Let me get straight to it. Regarding the Stellaron and your predicament in the overworld, your friends have gone over both with me again. The last time I saw Kokolia, she was an impressive young lady. I never thought that after becoming the Guardian. All I can say is that I sympathize with your situation. Rest easy, Wildfire won't go behind your back on this. Your plan sounds a bit like the ravings of a drunken miner, but at least you're offering a road forwards. We Underworlders haven't had a road to anywhere for a long time now, and you can see how things have become. I'm willing to give you guys a shot. Don't worry, Mr. Oleg. We'll make sure you don't regret it. Ravings of a drunken miner is a little harsh. Maybe it is. But I think we need to set our sights on something a bit more realistic. You guys want to know the whereabouts of the Stellaron. Wildfire wants to remove the restrictions on the Underworld. In other words, Svarog is the target of both our efforts. If we can't deal with the boss, we can't deal with anything. You're right. Let's go take him down. We need to find a way to bring him over to our side. <laughs> he wouldn't understand. You're forgetting he's a robot. It'd be faster to smash him to scrap metal. We should make preparations for both approaches. Of course, it's better to settle matters through peaceful means. But if the situation changes, we must be prepared for armed conflict at a moment's notice. Wildfire has tried many times to make contact with Svarok, 
without success. He has no intention of engaging with us. At our current strength, it would be incredibly dangerous to use force. Sparrow's robots don't fear sacrifice. And I don't want to risk underworld lives. But things have changed. Your arrival constitutes an external variable for Sparrow. I may not have the full picture. But perhaps you guys have an opportunity to sway him. That would be best. <laughs> Our scheme is coming along nicely. But I fear that Svarog just isn't the swaying type. <laughs> You'll understand when you get to his territory. Things never run smoothly down here. What about you, Miss Silvermane? You're the only one here that isn't compelled to do or die with Svarog. I'd like to hear your plan. Well, the Underworld is still a part of Bellabog. If Svarag's existence constitutes a threat to the people here, I will of course stand with you. <laughs> Excellent. An enlightened answer, young lady. And spoken like a true successor to the Guardianship. Seeing as we're all on the same side, there's no reason to delay. Let's go. I've arranged for a guide to take you to Svarag. You're not coming? What will Wildfire be doing? Wildfire's relationship with Svarag has been hostile for a long time now. Accompanying you would only lead to misunderstandings. We'll be nearby, awaiting orders. If things go south, we'll be there in no time. Zila, perhaps you can take our outsider friends the rest of the way. Mm, I'm on it, boss. I got a message. From Sampo. Mangler 3M, my hero. I finally got a hold of you. You must save me. And if I don't, oh sorry, your message could not be sent. Sorry, your message could not be sent. Please try again later. Could not be sent. Does that even does this even work? When you have a second, meet me at the Great Mine, my valuable patron. Every second counts, my life's in your hands now, friend. Survival Wisdom. Oh my gosh, look at all these quests we have now. Oh, another message. Julian, hello, hello, anyone, how do I use this thing? Send all. What's that supposed to mean? Who are you again? Allow me to give you a tutorial on how this is a money transfer function. I'll say, who are you? Who is this? What? Someone actually replied? Are you a real person or a bot? Anyhow, listen, I'm Julian, the Chief Intelligence Officer of the Moles. I just... I need some extra help right now. If you're free, come find me at the entrance to, of the Great Mine. Oh, a companion mission. I've never got one of those. Alright, let's look at the rewards. So that one's just money. And it gets me as part of the daily rewards. This one gets me 60 crystals and 90, 200 money. This one gets me 80 crystals and, ooh, I get to level up my Eidolon. That's like, uh, Constellations in the other game, in, uh, Genshin. To the Faint Star. 40, 30, 40, 50. Let's start with this one because it's worth 80. Sorry, everybody else, but uh, mercenary, I go after money first. I mean, I go after rewards first. All right, I can never get over. It. Come on, mom, let's go. Boxing gym owner. fix that thing. I already told you all that. I don't have a language module, I don't think. Hook! It's you again. Hook? 
you. This I really wasn't expecting. So, the moles are a part of wildfire. Ah, that's right. It's me, Pitch Dark, Hook the Great. What do you want? <laughs> Kiddo, I think there's been a misunderstanding. I will be your guide, friends, by order of Chief Oleg. I gotta say I'm a little upset at the thought of you choosing a toddler over your old buddy Sampo. All right, all right, don't get started. But I want to ask you something. Everyone in Wildfire knows the location of Svarog's lair. Why do we need you as a guide? Uh, my specialty's in the field, perhaps. Wildfire may know where the base is, but have they ever been inside? You've been inside? No, but I felt my way around the outside and picked up more than a few clues. I can help you. You have my word. Let's hope you can walk the, walk the talk. Oleg put his trust in you. Clues for your own shady dealings, no doubt. Hey, what are you trying to say? Name me someone above or below ground that walks the talk like Sempo Koski. My legacy will prove that Sempo Koski was nothing but a willing and devoted servant of... Oh, enough! Jeez, we believe you, okay? Show us the way already! Great! Stay close. Akavili. Oh, Sampo, are we there yet? Do you have to ask every other minute, Missy? Two more steps, just two more steps, and you're there. This is Farog's lair? I thought it'd be cold and lifeless. It turns out it's pretty busy. Many vagrants are staying here temporarily. Their homes were overrun by monsters. Isn't it dangerous for them to make camp right under Svarog's metal nose? No. Svarog may be ruthless, but he never attacks without reason. For those with no home, this is actually a safe place to be. <laughs> If I hadn't moved away when I did, I'd probably be where they are right now. She missed. Did you see that? The broken stoplight over there. Where's that enemy? No, no, no! You can't insert the microcrystalline unit into the heat sink substrate like that. How do you know? Bow away from Miner's Lamp said that you need to pay attention to the interfaces when assembling relics. To make this thing move again, we need to connect the microcrystalline unit to the operating brake module. Otherwise, it's just a pile of scrap metal. If you believe a word that senile idiot Balloway says, you're done for. The last time he acted on his own advice, he electrocuted himself. You should be asking people with real smarts. No one is better at fixing machines than Marev. I saw him connecting a microcrystalline conductor unit to a logic control hub to get a vibrating drill to work. Ha! <laughs> Marev? Him and his brother wouldn't know a real relic if it hit him in the face. Last I heard, he got scammed by someone selling counterfeit junk. Ah, you're just salty, my friend. Alas, this place is a bit of a mixed bag. Plenty of characters? Keep your wits about you, friends. Don't let anyone deceive you. It's all good. We've had you for practice. You know, Missy, you sure know how to bear a grudge. Yo, listen up. This one's for all you pretend rappers. Internal combustion engine champion, 88 degrees bedrock. Repping the dawn of the underworld rap. Here's something to wake up your soul. Check it. Light of the moon of a city of snow. Kid down below gazing up all alone. 
Silence, dismay. How to make sense of this vision of great. You to protect, her to defend. Queen of oblivion lies with no end. Child born and bred of the underworld dark. Orders that keep him and home far apart. Like death and honor, the struggle persists. Finding his parents a solitary wish. Crackle and flame, flicker and light. And now he escapes in the dead of the night. Sickness and hunger forever pursuing him. Gritting his teeth leaves a city behind. Scraping of claws, gnashing of teeth. Evil intent, here's the sound of his feet. Don't make a sound of your breath till it's over. Heart pounding, don't let the panic take over. Howl of the wind, silvery light. Hold on to sanity, keep up the fight now that blizzard descends. I start to close the voices of family lost to the snow another bell above night the hate the lash just can hide yeah <laughs> her gaze cold as ice while the world passes by yeah another bell above night a father last can abide yeah on his face one last smile a sign the sun always rises yeah yeah Yeah, I guess she doesn't aim ball when she's moving. She has to stand still. Now they're broken. Hold still. You're nearly fixed. My design has been superseded by newer models. My components are no longer valuable. Hey, what are you talking about? I'm not interested in selling your components. Come on. What a heavy gate. Uh, okay, watch this. Open sesame. <laughs> Is that a secret code or something? It's an imaginary password that children like to use. And I don't think it's going to be of much use. What about these clues of yours? Help us pry the gate open. Hmm. Huh. I was just about to get into those before Miss March's colorful attempt. Luckily for us, I've already figured out the mechanism for this gate. They don't just let any Joe Schmo in and out of Boss Warog's territory. I mean, if you want to see the big cheese himself, you need certification. Uh, certification? Correct. Only prospectors with the right certification can get in or out. These prospectors collect mechanical remnants from all over the underground and then bring them to Svarog for him to repair. Honestly, it's a very profitable little venture. If only I'd beaten them to it. <laughs> They'd be calling me Sampo Bosky by now. A timeout. Where do we get this certification? Oh, that's simple. You see the robots over by the vagrants? They're all Sporog scouts. Every one of them is commanded to maintain order here. Apart from them keeping a watchful eye on these hooligans, Another one of their duties is processing. Anyone who wants to become a prospector has to pass a test from these walking stoplights first. See, walking stoplights. <clears throat> What's the test? Spelling or combat? Do they give you a get chapman for the test? What's the test? Not a clue! <laughs> I never had the urge to go on a Svarog suicide mission before. You guys are the ones that want in. Why not go and ask the robots? It feels like the people here are all under the supervision of robots. This would be unthinkable on the surface. Robots are merely tools in the overworld. Don't take Svarag as an ordinary robot. He's... Uh, special. Level 3 certification. Ay ay ay. So that was it. So I have to figure out how to get level 1 certification. Hey, I can finally talk to one. This 
has to be one of them, right? It looks so lame. <laughs> Is it even awake in there? Maybe it's broken down. <laughs> that scared me. Protocol initiating, scanning, verifying. <laughs> Certification failure. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. Launching processing. Huh? Are we starting now? Launching stage one processing. Please listen to the following question. Who is the reigning champion of the Internal Combustion Engine Wrap Tournament? DD8. Infernal construction what now? How would we know anything about that? Sampo, do you know the answer? Sampo Gasky always knows the... Wait, uh, what did it say again? <sighs> Aren't you supposed to be dependable? That one lady eight lady. Well, I don't know everything. <sighs> Sometimes you gotta ask around if you want to know the answer. Don't panic. Let's listen in to what the vagrants are talking about. We might just hit the jackpot. Please answer the following question. Who is the reigning champion of the Internal Combustion Engine Wrap Tournament? 80 degrees bedrock. Correct answer. Uh, whoa! Was that a lucky No, guess? I just listened to that. <gasps> Did you go to a music festival without us? Certification result. Success. Requisite certifications remaining. Two. Please extend your right hand. My right hand? Here you go. Why is this part of the... Oh, hey! Hey! Ow! 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 <sighs> so this is the certification mark? Great. Only two more steps to go. Let's move! Alright, level one. Succeeded. Let's go get the rest. Protocol. Initiating. Scanning. Ugh, I'm so sick of repeating this. <laughs> huh? What did this bucket of bolts just say? <laughs> Seems like this one's got a temper. Ugh, oh, let's get this over with. Did you get your first certification? If not, then you're wasting your time. You mean this? Here, look! Yeah, yeah, whatever. Here comes your question. Listen up. Riddle me this. A microcrystalline unit should be connected to which component? Heat sink substrate operating brake module logic control hub. Um, if you said it, I didn't hear it, so I'm going to guess logic huh? control hub. Lucky guess. Ugh, now I have to do this again. Put your hand out. March, put your hand out. Huh? Me again? <laughs> it hurts, you know. Huh? Ow. There, one step left. Now get out of here and leave me in peace. Alright, we got it. Whatever the case, we'll need it to identify our certifications. Hmm, there's something wrong with this one. Protocol. Init nish, 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 nish. Initialization failure. Attempting system restoration. It's Windows. Not encouraging. Um, system why am I excited? Failure. Core module damaged. External threat detected. Okay, it is Windows. Threat Windows 10 or 11, activated. either one. Initializing combat module. <laughs> Finally, no more racking our brains. This rust bucket's about to meet its maker. More business, eh? Leave it to me. Good. 
This is our chance. I'm fine. <laughs> That'll take more than medicine. Rules are made to be broken. I'm a shot. No. Time for some hardship. <laughs> Learn how to behave now. Let me try and reset its system. Certification system online. Please extend your right hand. Oh, why is it always me? Ah! How come it hurt even more than the other two? Oh, at least that's the final step. We can get in now, right? <laughs> Varog's certification system is no match for us. This better work. Let's get back to the gate and give it a go. Rap Battle Voting Channel opens. And we're in! Open Sesame! <laughs> See, not so bad having Sampo on the team after all, huh? Right? Chief Oleg knew all along that I... Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. I'll commend you to the Chief. No need to waste your time. All right. Well, let me issue a warning now. Everything from here on out is uncharted territory. We must proceed with the utmost caution. Now to set the record straight with Sparog. Let's get in there. Dude, did anyone hear what I just said? A gate? Whoa. Why is there another gate here? It looks like this gate has a more complicated structure than the last one. Sampo, what is this? Huh? Sampo? Oh, where is he? Oh, where did he run off to? He was just here a second ago. <sighs> this isn't the first time. The remote it's control. That same type of robot again. Oh, please don't tell me there's another round of processing. Visitors for Svarog detected. Protocol initiating. Scanning. Verifying. Who's a good boy? Here's our certification. We just want to see your master. Careful, this one might have a few tricks up its sleeve. Oh, good plan. Treat the robots like guard dogs. How is that going to improve our chances? Certification failure. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. Request rejected. Visitors must acquire access permissions from Miss Clara. Clara? Oh, the girl we saw in the Great Mine? We need to get permissions from her? What's she got to do with this? She's Farag's family. She's Farag's owner. She's his family. Did you really forget? Family. Huh. Weird. Don't trouble yourself about it. We need to find her. Hmm. I don't know if this will work, but it's worth a try. Where is Clara right now? Obtaining audio data. Please wait. The energy core's bearing component is broken. If we don't repair it soon, the settlement will be pitch black. Timmy, I'm going back to Rivet Town. Maybe I can recover some usable components. You need to guard the gate while I'm gone. Recording recovery complete. Resuming execution of Clara's commands. She went back? But we were just there. Sounds like we better head over again. 
Wait, you guys went sightseeing in another town? <sighs> it wasn't as fun as you think. That town is danger lurking in every corner. You must go and find Clara. Clear. That little girl Clear. heading into the fragmentum all by herself? Ugh, doesn't bear thinking about. Her strength belies her appearance, but even so... <laughs> you don't look so tough yourself. Well, let's find her. Svarag's not going anywhere. Oh, this is a big town. Where should we start? Claire said she was going to find components, right? Let's start with Nat's storage room. Now they're even higher level. We have Natasha. Lost Trotter appears. We're just having fun. You know nothing of the weight behind this power. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. We're just having fun. Uh. Let's go. That'll take more than medicine. Now time. <laughs> to betray my customers, I charge extra. <laughs> All right. I think we beat it. Stand down. <laughs> To be broken. <laughs> ah. Delicate operation. We got some good stuffs from beating it. Oh boy, who's that? <laughs> I'm your worst nightmare. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Oh, looks familiar. I've already cleaned this piece out. There's a broken one. Isn't this the robot that was following Clara around? These can openers all look the same. How can you tell them apart? Shh. It's about to say something. Listen. Initializing self repair module. Initialization. It's Windows. Failure. Clara in danger. Must protect. In danger? What do you mean? Workshop target must be in. Does it mean that a monster appeared over at the workshop? Clara, she... Not good. She's in danger. Quick, let's head over to the workshop and check it out. I know the way. Just as we 
weird. There's something big over there. And, and there's Clara. We have to save her. Let's go. No need to fear. We have the numerical advantage. Good. The stronger, the better. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. Let's begin. Darn, these people are not very strong against them. Leave it to me. Let's make it quick. You know nothing of the weight. Be survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Naughty child. Let's begin. Let's go. Time for a shot. <laughs> Timely treatment. Oh dear. What are you waiting for? We to have betray four my health. customers? I charge extra. Let's make it quick. Yes. Are you okay, Clara? Are you hurt? Th thanks, everyone. I'm fine. Just a few scratches. You shouldn't be running around by yourself. It's too dangerous. What are you looking for here? There is a fault with one of the energy supply units at the base. If I don't repair it soon, everyone at the settlement will be affected. I knew there was a workshop in this town, so I wanted to try my luck here. I found all the components I need, but then I ran into a monster. You guys saved me. I'll tell Mr. Svarag about it. Speaking of Svarag, we were just about to pay him a visit. Uh huh? What do you need to see him for? I can pass him a message. No. This time, we need to set things straight with him, face to face. Can you take us to meet him? But... Mr. Sparrow doesn't like talking to others. Especially Wildfire. <laughs> Don't I know it. But he's evaded communication with us for too long. This time, we have to see him. Um... I know you're working hard for the people down here, but Mr. Svarok doesn't trust human emotions. He only trusts his calculation results. So, I can't take you to see him. If Mr. Svarok and you had a fight, someone would get hurt for sure. Maybe even bystanders. Listen, kid, you- <sighs> Clara, you said it yourself? before, right? Svarag's duty is to protect the underworld and preserve the civilization here. We have the same wish. Why would he refuse to cooperate with us? I know Mr. Svarag. He isn't affected by other people's wishes. He only follows logical judgments. Terrible things are happening on this world. 
Mr. Sparrow thinks that the overworld will end soon. What? According to his calculation results, the strength of the Underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. His plan is to keep the Underworlders away from the source of the disaster so they can survive for longer. Isn't that just putting us in a cage? It's ridiculous! What difference does it make if our death gets postponed a couple of days? How is that better than putting up a fight? See it is returning the favor, Clara. We have to see him whatever the cost. Why don't we think of another way? First. I'll definitely return the favor, but not like this. Um, if you don't mind, I still have important things to do. I'll go back now. Clara! It's no use, Zila. She's made up her mind. I could tell from her expression. You will have to think of another way. That's no ordinary kid! So young and yet so... stubborn? No. Intelligent? She's incisive and determined. In sharp contrast to you, March. Did you really have to add that last part? It looks like we'll have to get past Clara if we want to speak to Svarok. If we can't even persuade Clara, is there any other way? If we circumvent Clara and the gate, Svarog will only identify us as intruders. He'll be even more likely to give us the cold shoulder. Mm, isn't a robot shoulder cold to begin with? Clara mentioned Svarog's calculation results many times. The strength of the Underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. Those were her exact words. For me, that's our starting point. So, you think Sparog's logic has a hole in it? No. His calculation is correct. At its current strength, it is highly unlikely that Wildfire would be able to resolve the problems stemming from the Stellaron. However, that calculation didn't take the present situation into account. There's a new variable yet to be added to the equation. We are the new variable. We need him to recognize our value. Mm, precisely. If we can make Svarak believe in us, we can almost certainly overturn the result of his calculation, and we'll be one step closer to peace talks. But how can we get him to do that? <laughs> Showing him some of our photos wouldn't cut it, right? <sighs> There's always a way. First, we have to convince Clara. I assume she must be on her way back to the robot settlement. Let's catch up with her. She turned that way, quick! Keep at it. Sampo, you're in trouble, but we'll let Natasha be able to get in fight. Huh? Where'd she go? We just saw her go this way. <sighs> we'll just have to head straight and keep looking. Oh no! That was an accident. I didn't even see them around the corner. <laughs> oh dear. Whew. 
That was close. I was trying to shoot at that. Delicate operation. If there's medicine, it'll come I don't even know what level that one was. Oh, big monster. 32. Victory means preparation. I'll never finish that one. Observation diary of a changed child. Hmm. 29 patrol machines. See, they keep leveling up. At this point, I should probably go do some daily stuff and get stronger. I'm gonna try to beat him, but I'm probably gonna lose, so. Hopefully, I'm see. Two waves? Come on. It's gonna be tight. Rules are made to be broken. She is. Let's see if we can steal this chest before we talk to her. Yeah. Found you. Hmm. Why won't it? Ah, oh, I can't figure it out. Oh, it's you. You came with me after all. Couldn't give up that easily. You're the underground's only hope. You keep saying that, but <clears throat> are you repairing this installation, Clara? Hit a snack. Oh, huh? how did you know? The dimensions and wear of these two roller components look very different from the rest of the unit. You must have only just replaced them. You replaced the damaged components, but the unit isn't starting up as normal. That's what you're trying to figure out, right? Yeah, I fixed a lot of things before, but I never had to repair one as complicated as this. Why isn't Sparod helping you? I don't want to disturb him. This installation was accidentally damaged by two of the vagrants. If Mr. Sparog finds out, they'll get in big trouble. Was it really an accident? You give a lot of thought to others. You know, Clara, if you're too kind, people can take advantage of you. Ah, I think I found the source of the problem. You replace the rollers, but the bearing is causing a jam. And there's a misalignment. You two, give me a hand. We should be able to fix it between us. More fixing? I'm getting good at this! Can we really fix this? Relax, we got this! Right, Don Hung? Less asking, more helping. Oh boy, our best. No it. need. We hardly lifted a finger. It's one of the easiest one. So, the settlement's energy supply problem is solved for the time being? Yes. The people on the outskirts don't need to worry about heat or light now. Um... We're not trying to win you over. I understand. 
You helped a lot of injured people in the mine, and you risk going into the town for supplies. You're good people. If there's any other way I can help you, I'll do my best. But this... Uh, how are we gonna convince her? Remind her of the present situation, point out the variable, make something up. You might be putting a little too much faith in me. Clara, you're observant, right? Take a look at us. Do we look like underworlders? Well, uh, you do look very different from other people. Right! That's because we're not from here. We've never been a factor in Sarok's calculations. And if those calculations are based solely on the strength of the Underworlders, then the results don't apply to the present situation. When did Svarog start doing his calculations, Clara? It was... a long time ago. The same time the Underworld was sealed off, I think. Circumstances have changed since then. There's a Silver Mane guard down here now. Is that part of Svarog's calculation? Not to mention we're... Not even from this planet. We're completely separate variables. Three people more than we started. Not even from There's this planet. There's just no way that Svarog's calculations would have included variables like us, you know? Different planet? Don't treat me like a child. Those are just made-up stories that grown-ups like to tell. I don't... They're not made up. In other worlds, people have already conquered the heavens. Hey. Me and March aren't lying, Clara. I believe them. Branya... Do you really...? I know how you feel, Clara. You want new hope for the underground, but you don't want anyone to get hurt in the process, right? I also have doubts, but my gut tells me that March, Dan, Hung, and he, they are the new hope this world has been waiting for. Let them meet Sarag, and let's see if his calculation result is any different for you, for him. There's no harm in trying. Right? Mm. You've already seen our ability. We will bring change to this world. Come on, what have we got to lose? I... <sighs> okay, I'll take you to see Mr. Svarok. Finally. Really? Awesome! Mm. I understand now. Trying to change Mr. Svarok's mind on my own would take forever. Even if I kept trying until I was all grown up, I don't think I could do it. And all the while, people would be getting sick, losing their homes, and fighting, just like in the mine. I don't want that to happen. If you guys really believe that you can convince Mr. Svarok, then I need to be brave too. Everyone, follow me. Branya, I didn't know you'd stick up for us like that back there. Well said. It was nothing, I just said what I truly felt. Mr. Svarok. Outsiders detected. Do you wish to permit access? It's okay. They're all my guests. Command received. Access restriction terminal unlocked. 
Welcome back, Miss Clara and guests. Oh, uh, if you can, please try not to upset Mr. Sparrow. It's okay, Clara. We're here to reason with him. I'll leave negotiations to you guys. They're not my strong point. Negotiating with robots. I can't say I've tried it before. Are you ready? Let's go and see him. I'm back, Mr. Sparrow. I see that the energy supply system is back online. Thank you, Clara. But why have you brought them? Mr. Sparrow, they want to talk to you about going to the surface. Analyzing. Analysis result. Target does not belong to wildfire. Background unknown. Classification unknown. You have arrived on Clara's recommendation. I will give you an opportunity to speak. Oh, uh, hey, sounds like he's willing to communicate. Quick, time to smooth talk him. We're not interested in stoking conflict. We're here about the future of the underground. To be or not to be, that is the question. <laughs> Said question lacks the necessary context to be answered. Proceed with your central point. Do not waste this world's valuable time. Uh, he cut you off completely. This guy. Stay focused. Remember, we have to make him see that we're a variable in the calculation. We're here about the Stellaron. Do you know what a Stellaron is? We, we are a variable. Stellaron. Searching database. Access denied. Discussing Stellaron with unauthorized targets. Prohibited. You are approaching a secret that lies at the heart of this world. A secret that should remain unknown to humanity. Reassessing targets. Threat index raised. I demand that you reveal your true intention. Mm, as expected. He knows of the Stellaron. But it's a restricted topic. Hmm. Leading to a fight. Far. Out with it already! Just be straight with him. Everything depends on it. We must find this Teleron and then we want to bring this world's disasters to a close. Historical records state that humanity has already made multiple efforts to engage with the Teleron. Without exception. These efforts have been motivated by human greed, attempts to secure the article for a selfish end. I didn't say anything about that. As instructed by the architects, any attempt to engage with the Stellaron will result in grave consequences. Reassessing. Target threat index critical. Uh, what should we do? This is going from bad to worse. Wait, we're not like the... We're not like those others. Your powers of calculation suck. <laughs> Target hostility significantly exceeds base index. Calculation result remains unchanged. <laughs> Peacekeeping protocol temporarily disengaged. Requesting extermination protocol launch. E extermination? In the literal sense? Mm, I think it's gonna head this way no matter what. March. Prepare for combat. Mr. Sparrow, please don't! Leave, Clara. Clara, it's dangerous here. Find somewhere to hide. Looks like we have to take action after all. Prototype number three. Monitoring Automaton Sparrow. Extermination protocol launch. Successful. Annihilation permitted. I fight him or protocol number three? No, it's him. Executing annihilation. Executing operation. Good. The stronger, the better. <laughs> hmm. 
Let's go. Better up. We need fire and something else that we don't have. That wind is really powerful. Haley was right. Hold your body in mind. Let's make it quick. Huh. All better now? Timely treatment. The machine's partial. <laughs> Cutscene. How can you put up your best fight without a doctor on the battlefield? All of you, stay focused. I'm right behind you. You're with me, Natasha. Nat, how did you... Guess you guys had a bad talk, huh? Luckily, You're also with me. Sampo's got your back. Sampo! <laughs> I knew you'd be involved somehow. Base breached. Armed wildfire personnel detected. Assessing. All subjects are high risk individuals. Commencing complete annihilation. Execute annihilation. Hey, we're all healed. Executing operation. Good. The stronger, the better. Rules? Are made to be broken! You're out! We're just having fun! The customer is king! And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. You know nothing of the weight behind this power. Witness the stars shatter before you. Survive or be destroyed. Damage now. There is no other choice. No, now you learn this pathetic. <laughs> Stand down. Business knocking. We lost somebody. <laughs> Leave the rest to me. <laughs> this time character cannot be healed. Uh oh. Save the bigger up. Calculating results. You can still walk away. Easy. We're just having fun. <laughs> what are you waiting for? The customer is king. And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. Oh. We lost one. We lost one and we're about to lose one. I'll bet I know. Him he's just the most I owe you one. <laughs> just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. 
You know nothing of the weight behind this power. Witness the stars shatter before you. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Hey, his shield went down. Stand down. Here comes the medicine. I owe you one. <laughs> Can we break his shield finally? I think we did. We did. Let's Seems get him. You need to experience some hardship. Hm. Executing operation. Uh, that hurts. Analysis complete. Uh, Watch your face. Try this on for size! What are you waiting for? The customer is king! And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. Let's finish this one off. You're in bad shape. Stand down. Oh, that was a close Just call. We almost lost it here. Just a little something. Not a very helpful thing. Mm -hmm. Think nothing of it. Calculating results. Sounds like more business knocking. You know nothing of the weight behind this pack. Witness the stars shatter before you. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. <laughs> Timely treatment. I don't know why we're here. Him. Enforcer. Oh, another one. We kill him first. I risk individual. Let's see how this one pick up somebody. Oh no, not that one. That's my only damage dealer. Yeah, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. I... Stand down. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Naughty children, don't guess it. Here comes the medicine. I have to go after him. He's the only one that has any chance. Hey, he survived. <laughs> oh, what are you waiting now for? finish him off. The customer is king. And for me to betray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. Yes, we got him. Windbreaker 1, what is that? 
beating somebody big with your wind. Breaking wind. Please don't hurt Mr. Sparrow. Clara. You... Mr. Sparrow can't fight anymore. Please. Please don't hurt him. Mr. Sorrow, don't push yourself any further. Can you tell them what you meant? Mr. Sparrow, you said you were willing to make all my wishes come true, right? My biggest wish right now is for everyone to work together. Like, like family. Recently, I learned something new. Calculation results can't always bring people happiness. Even if the world outside the cage isn't beautiful, people still want to know what it's like. Assessment system reset. Successful. Processing variables. Variable 1. Clara's request. Variable 2. Outsider's intentions. Outdated assessment result. Transference of decision-making authority to outsiders. Outsiders are granted access to Stellaron intelligence. So... so we did it? The cost was too great. Thanks to Clara, our strength has been recognized. Although if Clara hadn't been here, Sara would never have granted us access to the intel, right? Even up until the end. I hope his memory bank really does contain data on the Stellaron. Is this it, Nat? Us, Wildfire, the Underworld, did... did we win? Yeah. No, Zila. Our battle, their battle, it's just beginning. Finally. We finally made it to this point. Uh, what's up? Nervous? No. But... I do have an aching feeling in my chest. Truth can be heartbreaking, it's up to you to make your own judgment about who's lying now. I'm ready. Reveal the truth. I'm listening. Half the Wizard of Oz. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and put cut in the video now. Um, let me see if anyone else is on. Hmm. Leany Honey's on. Let's go ahead and raid her. Alright. Have a great day. I'll see y'all later.